The president is Mubarak. His son is Gamal Mubarak, possibly the next president of Egypt. Here's what he was expecting to hear in this speech. The commitment is crucial. The principles established already and echoed by the president himself in more than one occasion are crucial. But we need a credible process and we need some actions and steps on the ground. We need a hold to settlement. And I commend President Obama for sticking to that point. You believe that the Israeli-Palestinian issue is the building block of all other peace? It all starts there? No doubt in my mind that this is and will continue to be the core issue that feeds and fuels all the other problems that that region and the wider Islamic world, and I would say wider world, world issues at large. Many people in America believe that the reason there is terrorism is because extremists hate the way Americans live. It's never connected to the Palestinian-Israeli situation. They believe it's cultural, but perhaps if they understood the link to the Palestinian-Israeli situation, they might understand terrorism differently? One of the big mistakes, I believe, that has been made over the past seven years is to try and stereotype some of those positions. The positions that you are saying, I would not deny it, are echoed by some groups and some voices in our part of the world. But these are on the fringe. What we, working with others and our partners, want to win is the hearts and minds of the mainstream of our society, who are tolerant people. Some of his Republican critics are saying President Obama is going on an apology tour. And it's a mistake because it's defying United States strength. Is this perceived as an apology tour? I totally disagree with that proposition. If you really want to address the real issues in the region, if you really want to reestablish U.S. leadership in that very important part of the world, this, the beginning and the start of a message of respect, a message of understanding, a message of reaching out, I don't think it's a sign of weakness. I think it's a sign of strength.